Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at a cut down short magazine Lee Enfield. What's interesting about the concept of an Obrez or cut down SMLE is the myth that has grown up around it. They're often described as being used by men during trench raids or tunnelers digging beneath no man's land. But it's very difficult to confirm the use of these cut down rifles by tunnelers or trench raiding parties. British tunnelling operations began in 1915 with the formation of the tunnelling companies of the Royal Engineers as an attempt to break the stalemate on the Western Front. Tunnelling had historically been a feature of siege warfare since the medieval period, and the Western Front proved no different, with tunnels dug beneath strong points to detonate mines below them. Occasionally opposing tunnels met, often resulting in a short, sharp fight, followed inevitably by one side blowing up the other's tunnel. Of course, cutting down serviceable rifles was strictly prohibited, and patrols were mostly issued with revolvers, grenades, knives and clubs. For tunnelers who encountered the enemy deep underground, they were normally armed with revolvers, knives and their mining tools. The only contemporary reference to the use of a cut-down SMLE that I could find comes from a sketch drawn by a tunnelling officer, Major R.S.G. Stokes who sketched a cut-down SMLE supposedly used by Canadian tunnellers near Ypres. The rifle Stokes drew had a completely exposed barrel with an added front sight post. The rifle we're taking a look at today differs from the truly cut-down SMLEs we might normally imagine. The provenance and origins of this rifle are unknown, but with its stock still intact it differs from others, and actually, in my opinion at least, makes the rifle more usable. With the extra point of contact from the butt, you can work the bolt faster and you don't have to lower the rifle to work the action. While the SMLE was already one of World War I's shortest rifles, this cut down SMLE is about 64 centimeters or 25 inches long with a four inch barrel. From descriptions of the subterranean fights miners found themselves in, they were short, sharp, vicious affairs, which typically began with both sides blazing away at one another with pistols before fighting hand to hand. Most accounts describe revolvers and pistols as being the primary weapons used. Captain Basil Soares of the 177th Tunneling Company described using little automatics which were meant to shoot where your finger pointed, while Captain Matthew Roach of the 255th Tunneling Company personally carried two revolvers. Another account from Captain William Grant Grieve describes British tunnelers breaking into a German tunnel they encountered a party of Germans and immediately opened fire on them with pistols. From the contemporary accounts we have available, it appears that immediate volume of fire was key in tunnel fights. For this, the double action revolvers and small pistols like those described earlier would have been ideal. A cut down rifle would have been deafening and the muzzle flash blinding in the confines of a tunnel. This rifle has no sights, while not a problem for short distances such as in a trench or a tunnel, Anything over 25 yards is going to be dead reckoning. Interestingly though, whoever cut the rifle down originally left the long range volley peep sight in place. The rifle is a SMLE Mark I, originally built in 1906, and as such it doesn't have a charger bridge, which was introduced with the later Mark III. Despite cut down rifles not being officially sanctioned, it's very likely that at least a small number were made, perhaps from damaged rifles that have been salvaged. How many were adapted, we'll probably never know. There were, of course, instances when cutting down a rifle was permissible, such as the use of cut-down SMLEs as igniters for the various trench mortars, like the 2-inch trench mortar that we've covered previously. These igniters are sometimes confused with the unofficial cut-down rifles, but the metal grip plates and the threaded muzzles are the easiest way to spot them. Some SMLEs were also later adapted as smoke dischargers, one was famously used as a prop in Star Wars A New Hope, appearing as a Jawa blaster. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys, I really wanted to take a look at this rifle and discuss the myths and theories surrounding the cut down SMLEs. Special thanks to the collection that holds this rifle for allowing us to take a look at it, and if you enjoyed the video please consider supporting us over on Patreon. We have some cool new perks including these postcards featuring the G11's internals, and tab logo stickers, which I think are pretty cool. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.